boys and girls. How many of you like to draw? Well, I'm going to teach you how to draw some shapes. And then I'm going to show you an animal that has that shape on its body. Doesn't that sound exciting? Well, it is going to be exciting. So let's get started. First, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to draw a circle. A circle has no sides. As you can see, my circle isn't perfectly round, so do the best you can. Here is an adult pig. And look, boys and girls, it has a gigantic black circle on its back. Here is an adorable baby pig. Do you see the black circle on top of his pink body? You can find circles almost anywhere, boys and girls. Another adorable baby pig with a black circle on its brown back side. Now look at this sweet black baby goat. Do you see the white circle on its forehead? Boys and girls, here is a pig with a lot of spots on its body, so I call it like a spotted pig. But I want to share with you this pig playing with a brother or sister. You see all the circles on this little pig's body? And here is the spotted piglet with its mother and brothers and sisters. Look carefully, boys and girls, at mom's back and on her leg. She has a gray circle on her back and a brown circle on her leg. I just love this cow. It has such a kind face. And do you see the white circles around its eyes? See the white circle there, boys and girls? Now, boys and girls, I want you to search and find the baby goat has a tan circle on its stomach area and mother goat has a brown circle on her back. Do you see the circles? Isn't this amazing where you can find circles? Here's a baby goat nursing. And do you see the black spot on the little baby goat's head? The black spot has the shape of a circle. Look at this adorable baby lamb, boys and girls. Do you see the brown spots on its body? There are several brown spots here, or Brown circles, I should say. And look, boys and girls, even my dog Champ has a circle on his foot. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to draw a semicircle. A semicircle is half a circle. Now I'm going to erase this and I'm going to draw a shape that looks like a crescent moon. And now I'm going to make this 
crescent moon into a semicircle. The semicircle has a line straight down. It's not curved in like on the crescent moon. Boys and girls, do you see the semicircle on the baby calf's forehead? This baby calf has a crescent moon shape on its forehead. See the white, how it dips in, it curves in some, like a crescent moon? Now I'm going to show you how to draw an oval. So try this, boys and girls. This is what an oval looks like. Now I'm going to erase it and I'm going to draw an oval on its side. Look at this adorable little puppy. Do you see the brown oval shape above each of his eyes? Those are ovals. At the park, I saw this awesome bird. I don't know what it is, but it is amazing. Look at the brown oval circle around its eye. Look at this bird. Goose, duck, whatever, I don't know, but it is amazing. And look at its beak. It has a black oval on its beak. Boys and girls, a heart shape is a hard shape to draw. So please don't get frustrated. Remember, practice, practice will help to make it perfect. Boys and girls, symmetry is one side of an object has the same exact shape on the other side of the object. So we're going to draw a heart and so I can explain what I mean by symmetry. I'm going to start right here on the left side. And then I'm going to draw this exact shape reversed on the right side. Boys and girls, I'm going to put this imaginary line so you can see that this heart is divided in half and each side is exactly the same as the other side. And that's what I mean by symmetry. So here is a butterfly and a butterfly is a good example of symmetry. Look at the body and then look at its wings. The right wing is exactly the same as the left wing. It has the same colors, the same shapes, everything. It's like if you draw something, what do you draw on the right hand side has to be drawn exactly the same on the left hand side. Boys and girls, look at this amazing cat. And do you see the heart? by its nose? You never find this anywhere. This is truly amazing. A cat with a heart on its face. And here's a heart on a piglet's forehead. Here I am, boys and girls, with a calf. I'm pointing to the heart on the calf's forehead. This is the first time I've ever seen a calf with a heart on its forehead. Here's a better look at the heart. Then later, boys and girls, I found another calf with a heart on its forehead. 
this heart is, has a better shape than the other one. So you see there's different shapes for hearts. Here's how you draw a diamond shape, boys and girls. Then draw this shape reversed below. Now I usually like to go straight down to the top so I know that it's starting up from the same point. Boys and girls, I want you to search for the diamond shape on the puppy's neck. You see it? Look closely. Yes, it's on top of his neck, kind of between his ears. A rectangle has two equal sides. So let's draw a straight line across and go down here below it and draw another straight line below it and stop right underneath that other line. So we have two equal straight lines. Put your pencil right here and draw a straight line down connecting the two lines and do the same at the end. Here is a goat, boys and girls. Do you see a shape on him that kind of looks like a rectangle? A rectangular shape? Yes, it's that brown part on a stomach. Boys and girls, a triangle has three sides and the three sides don't need to be equal, but my sides look pretty equal. <laughs> Do you see the triangle shape on the baby goat's forehead? <laughs> Boys and girls, drawing is like magic. You draw shapes and make something appear. I want to share this magic trick with you. Enjoy. So, I'll see you the next time. Good job, draw.